Hello and welcome to the ASX Options Investing and Trading Series. In this video, we're looking at placing a trade in options on the standard platform. And if we go to the standard platform and start on our main page, we begin by selecting the instrument over which we'd like to purchase some options. Let's take as an example a trader who wishes to take a view on Telstra shares that they'll go down in price or an investor who is holding Telstra shares and is looking to protect by buying put options. If Telstra share price declines, an investor will lose on their holdings in Telstra, but by owning put options that go up in value as the price goes down, they can offset part or all of those potential losses. And we begin by putting the code for the stock into the window in the top left hand corner of the platform. This brings up our drop down menu and we select Telstra. And there's a wealth of information for both traders and investors about Telstra on this screen. But for our purposes, we're going to select options. And when we do, it brings up the option matrix. Now this is highly configurable. You can select what you want to see. The platform will default to the nearest monthly expiry. Uh, but to begin our uh, journey into the options and to start our trade, we select our strategy. In this case, a long put strategy, that is buying a put option. An investor might seek longer protection than the nearest month, and we can change the display, and add or subtract months as we wish, by selecting from the expiry drop-down menu. And here we have the Telstra April expiries. Important information is here in the middle of the screen the strike prices for each option, and whether or not they're European or American in expiry. On the left hand side we have calls, and on the right hand side we have puts. And you can see there are markets in both. Because we've selected the long put strategy, only the windows next to the buy price for the options is uh, open to us. Having selected an option, in this case we'll select the $3 American put, and ticked it as a buy, we bring up the order ticket by pressing on the order ticket button. And here we get the option to tailor our trade. Each contract in Telstra is worth 100 shares. And so uh, an investor looking to protect 1,000 shares might look at buying 10 contracts, guarding against extreme moves. At the moment, the bid and offer are displayed here, 9.5 cents to 11.5 cents per share. I'm going to tick the order price up to 11. And when I do so, we can see that this adjusts the overall cost of the trade. Over here are the Greeks, for those who are familiar with these various measures of option sensitivity. And down here, the payoff chart. And the payoff chart can show us exactly what the potential outcome at any given share price for Telstra. We can see from this payoff diagram, if Telstra shares go up, the investor or trader could lose a premium on the option, but that's all. In other words, we could lose the $110. If, however, Telstra shares go down in value, we see that the option increases significantly in value the further that Telstra shares fall, thus providing an offset for those uh, investors. Once we're happy with our parameters, buying 10 Telstra April $3 puts at 11 cents, we can place the order. And when we do so, it goes through to the options team and we'll receive a confirmation that the order has been received.